8. Colin King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Agriculture and asks what recent steps has the government taken to progress international research into agricultural emissions and food security? The Honourable David Carter. Mr. Mr Speaker, recently myself and Tim Grosser attended the inaugural ministerial summit of the New Zealand-led Global Research Alliance in Rome. The summit was a resounding success, with 36 countries signing up to the alliance and its aims of bringing together countries to work on solutions to reduce agricultural emissions whilst producing more food. The success of the alliance, Mr Speaker, and its endorsement by countries such as Brazil, China, United States, is a significant coup for New Zealand and shows that this government is serious about taking practical steps to reduce agricultural greenhouse gas emissions without crippling our vital food producing sector. Colin King. Supplementary question to the Minister. What further support has New Zealand provided to the Global Research Alliance? The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, at the ministerial summit I was pleased to announce that New Zealand will establish a $25 million international fund to support research on mitigating agricultural greenhouse gas emissions. The fund is aimed at bold research efforts that must have people working across disciplines and across borders, but it must include a New Zealand partner. Mr. Colin Speaker, King. Supplementary to the Minister, why has the Global Research Alliance received such a high level of international support? The Hon. David Carter. Mr Speaker, there is clear international consensus that the two biggest challenges to face the world are food security and climate change. The Global Research Alliance squarely addresses both of these through its voluntary, pragmatic nature and a focus on scientists, not politicians. Mr Speaker, that's why 36 countries from France to South Africa to Brazil to the United Kingdom to Korea are strongly supportive, and all of them praise New Zealand's leadership in turning the Global Research Alliance into a reality. Question number nine, the Honourable Leanne Dalzell. Mr. Speaker, my